It's Melissa. I'm here today to record a review of one of my absolute favorite series. It is the Love at Stake series by Carolyn Sparks. Um, it's a vampire series and if you have not um, had the pleasure of reading these books yet, you need to go out and get them like yesterday. <laughs> um, this is actually book number 11. It's called The Sexiest Vampire Alive. Here's the cover. Yay, not too much glare today. It's kind of yucky outside. Um, anyways, great cover and great book. This is actually Gregory's book. Um, if you're familiar with this series, you'll know him throughout uh, the rest of the books. He is Radinka's son. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Um, and he is a vampire. And um, in the last book, and I'm sorry, I don't remember what it was called. I think it was Vampire Mine, or maybe it was um, Eat, Love, Pray. Not really sure. Anyways, in the last book, they actually um, defeated Cashman? Goodness, I don't remember his name. Anyways, the big bad guy. <laughs> they defeated him, and it was caught on YouTube, and... Corky, the reporter, decided that she was going to put it up on YouTube to show all of us uh, humans, us mortals, what was going on, that there are vampires, because she was really mad that um, her little boyfriend was killed. Anyways, so that's kind of where the last book ended up, and so they're kind of dealing with the fallout of this YouTube video. Some people believe it, some people don't. Um, and so they're off to see the President of the United States to talk about um, how to kind of have an alliance like they do with some other countries. And Gregory was actually selected as the one to go meet with the President and represent the vampires. And he falls in love with the, the President's daughter. <laughs> wow, right? Um, so yeah, it was a great story. I love this series. Every single thing about this series, from the very first book to this book, every single one of them are fantastic. Um, and no matter what is going on or what I'm in the middle of reading, I have to get her book as soon as it comes out. Gregory's book actually came out on my birthday and I forgot. <laughs> I got it the very next day and immediately stopped everything I was doing and started reading that book. And I had it done within like 24 hours. I mean, it, it's the kind of books that really just grab you, don't let go, and you can't stop reading until it's over. And then you regret having read it so quickly because now you have to wait for the next one to come out. So that is pretty much going to be the review for this book. I don't want to give too much of it away because it is such a fantastic book that I must urge you again and again and again to go pick it up. Sorry, my hair's driving me nuts. Um, go get it right now. Download it. Go to Barnes & Noble. Walmart might even have it. Target, anywhere you can buy a book. It's there. Go get it. If you have not read the rest of the series, you do not have to to kind of understand. They're all standalone books. Of course, though, I suggest always in any type of book series, whether they're standalones or they're part of a complete series, to definitely start with the first book because you will understand more of what's going on later on um, if they happen to reference it. So that's it. Until next time, I hope everyone is well. And um, yeah, that's it. Have a great day. Um, if you can hit subscribe, share, share us along, um, that would be absolutely fantastic. As usual, I would go ahead and put links here um, for you to be able to purchase this book from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, wherever it's sold online. Um, but again, I really do recommend pick it up.